Hi guys, so today I am reviewing the Zodiac Collection by Kathleen Lights and I'm really late on this. I've been in Malaysia as you can see by the link in the description and this turned up when I was away. So there was no way obviously I could test it but I do have the palette, Supernova Shadows, the Super Shock Highlighters and the lipsticks. So I'm actually just going to quickly do my base and then we will get straight in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to try out and test is the Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Highlighters. So I have Fire and On The Cusp and I think On The Cusp is more for my skin tone. So I'm going to swatch both of them. I like how it's black packaging and then you open it up and it's blue. I think that's really cool. So this is Fire and this is On The Cusp. So I mentioned this in my favourite cream videos, which I will link. Some products from the Super Shock range, they kind of like break up a little bit. Now this is only around the side. That shows how much packaging you get. My whole little thing just came out. So I'm not going to tip that upside down anymore. So on the cusp which fell out. Fire, which is definitely too dark for me. I've already tested all of these out to see what I thought of them, and it's too dark for me. But on the cusp is perfect. So we're gonna try that one out. I'm just gonna put this on with my fingers because I feel like that just works best for these sort of, for these cream products. So I'm gonna just swirl my finger around in it. I will say these are some of the only cream highlighters that work over powder, I think. It's pretty, but it's not mind-blowing. Like, it's an everyday highlight. I definitely think she should come out with a powder highlight. A powder highlight, bronzer, blush. A little bit. Definitely a lot on my... the tip of my nose. Next uh, is the palette and the Supernova Shadows. So I'm just going to swatch the Supernova Shadows so we can see what we're dealing with. It's been a while. I know what one of them is, I think the other one's like a rose gold, yeah. So you have Astrology, which is basically a liquefied telepathy, which again is a supernova shadow that's been discontinued. And then Constellation. Constellation's really pretty. I think they both are. Actually, Constellation reminds me a lot of the On The Cusp shade. <laughs> that's those two there, Constellation and Astrology. I've always loved the supernova shadows, I think they are incredible. Um, I have heard that some of them are a little bit watery, so you have to be careful which ones you use, but I personally haven't ha really had that issue. But these ones seem very nice and pigmented, so. So I'm not going to swatch every single one of these. If you want to see swatches, I will put um, Kathleen's video in the description. She has the cutest little hair buns on when she was showing this whole video. But this is what it looks like. It's so stunning. I was so excited when I saw this. I have used it quite a few times. I think this is the only shade I haven't really used. I've used everything else. I've used Libra the most. Libra is my favourite shade. It's like a satin and I am actually a Libra. So I feel like this is just such a nice all over the lid shade. Just throw it all over and you're good to go. Not just a matte. It's so pretty. But I think you guys are going to be most impressed with the shimmers. So I'm going to swatch Pisces... Uh, the Cancer and Aries. So this is so that is Aries, Cancer and Pisces. I will say she did explain in her video that the reason they're not just called Pisces, Aries, Cancer is because she called a lip product Aquarius and obviously in here is Aquarius so she couldn't name that just Aquarius. She had to name it the Aquarius. So that's why all of these are the this and the that and the. But yeah, these are so pretty. I will say they have very different finishes. Pisces is a lot of glitter. This one is like butter, putting your finger into it. This one is a little bit stiffer. The mattes are really, really nice. The Capricorn, I love this shade. Glitter just does, it falls out a lot. It's got a lot of like golden glitter in it. I don't know how well you can see. After Libra, this is that's probably my favourite shade. I mean, the Virgo is probably my second most used, but Capricorn is way my favourite shade. I'm just disappointed by by the end of the day, the majority of the glitter was gone, and it was I basically just had a black matte eye, so that was a bit disappointing. 
and I did use concealer to make sure it's stuck but I'm gonna scoot you in so we can get started so first thing I'm gonna go in with this uh, Essence Eye Blender brush Essence has some really good brushes if you ever in a pinch um, so I'm gonna use the Libra and just stick this in my crease look how much fallout there is I just like dip my brush in about three times you do get a good mirror So pretty. Okay, so next I'm going to go in. I'm gonna do something colourful, I think. So I'm gonna go in with the blue. I haven't used this shade yet, and I'm excited to try it. I am having to build this up a lot, but I'm not gonna judge it too too fast too quickly. I'm... The only thing is, like, I'm not sure what else to go in with to help this blue, so I might have to just get a smaller brush. So this is the Morphe uh, E17, it's like a nice little shade of brush, so I'm just going to pack on some more of that Aquarius shade onto the out corner. I feel like that looks like a different shade, because I packed it on. It almost looks different, it looks brighter. Okay, and then I'm going to take uh, a bit of the Capricorn, I feel like I'm going to mess this up. I'm going to take a little bit of the Capricorn with the E17, but I'm going to Tap it off to get rid of a lot of the glitter. Sweep this so lightly in the outer corner. A little bit of fallout. Now I'm going to take my concealer and the flat brush. I'm not really going to cut the crease as much as just lay this down to make sure the next pigment really sticks to it. Okay, and then with an Anastasia brush, you can use any sort of flat brush. Uh, I'm going to use the Leo, because it's kind of like orange, orangey gold. I want to use a brush instead of my finger, because I feel like it'll place it exactly where I want it. The sides are now like really rough, so I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and take uh, the Aquarius. Lightly graze over that. It's five mattes and one sort of satin here and then the rest are shimmers. Uh, yeah, eight shimmers. I'm going to use this Spectrum B04. It's a bit fluffier. I'm actually going to go underneath. I'm going to go underneath with the Aquarius. The uh, Morphe E18, which is like a rounded brush. I'm not sponsored by Morphe. I just have quite a few of their brushes that are like the nice small ones. I'm then going to take the Leo, that a little bit, and the lash line as well. And then with the Cancer, this nice like shimmery pinky sort of shade. This is probably the only inner corner I could use, um, but I really like it as an inner corner. And then brow brown highlights. I'm just... I know I didn't use these two supernova shadows but i will make sure i use them soon and then lastly we have the Lux lipsticks now i have been dying to try Lux lipsticks this is what the packaging looks like really nice like rose gold with stars and these are the shades so this is probably the one i'm going to use today but i will swatch both of them um so we have scorpio moon and what's your sign I heard these are super creamy so we've got scorpio moon and what's your sign and this is the one i'm going to use today These are super, super comfortable, but I feel like this is a shade that I will never reach for. I'm not a purple shade sort of person. Um, if I'm going to go deep, I'll go like grey or blue. I won't normally go for that. This nude shade is definitely up my alley. Super comfortable, really moisturising. I think it's a really, really good lipstick. Do I think that these are my favourite lipsticks? I feel like, actually, these could be a good dupe for the Tarte color splash lipsticks because the, those are also super super moisturizing and i feel like they have the same sort of finish and everything like that so yeah if you like this video please leave a like and um, subscribe if you feel like it and i hope to see you all very very soon in the next one